Good morning, students. Good morning, everyone. All right. Uh, since today will be the last meeting that we have, uh, we will review all about similar triangles. Okay. And after the short review, we will answer three questions only. All right. So all about similar triangles because this was uh, the topic, the first topic that we have for the finals. Okay. Since we have already uh, finished with box plots, the test also the mastery test for box plots, then we will have this a similar triangle also. We will have the mastery test only three questions. Okay. So before we have that uh, test, we will review first. Okay, and then prepare a piece of paper with you and your pen. After the review, we will have a short test or mastery test all about similar triangles. Okay. All right. So we will start now and we will run through with similar triangles. And then after that one, we will have a test. Okay. Uh, Dean, please prepare also a piece of paper. Yes. Okay, we will have only three questions right after the review. Okay. So let us now start. We will just run through. Anyway, you already have. Uh, we already discussed these similar triangles. All right. Okay, so let me share this short review and then we will have the test. Three numbers only, you can answer that one in uh, three minutes. Okay. All right, so here we go. Okay, so similar triangles and their properties. All right, uh, Dean, will you please read first? Dean, will you please read the definitions of similar triangles and their properties? All right, Dean. Sure, uh, may I go to the slide, please? Okay, you go first. Yes. Okay, can we read similar triangles and their properties? Similar triangles and their properties. Definitions to triangles are said to be similar if their uh, corresponding angles are equal, corresponding sides are perfect. Proportional. It's followed from this definition that two angles, triangles ABC and DEF are similar. Yeah. Okay, so two triangles could be said to be similar or they are uh, equal when they pass this test. All right, so the first is if their angles are equal. All right, if their angles are equal, then they are similar or their corresponding sides are proportional. All right, meaning we can set up a ratio between their sides. And if they are proportional, then this could be similar triangles. Okay, so that is the first property or those are the first uh, test whether our triangles are similar or not. Okay, next we can use some test also 
to determine if the triangles are similar. The first is angle, angle, angle test. Second will be the side, side test. And the third, we can use also side, angle, side test. Okay. Now, if this test, they will pass, then we can say that they are similar triangles. All right. So we go first, angle to angle criteria. All right. Prao, will you please read? Prao? Yes. Okay. If in two triangles. If in two triangles, corresponding angles are equal then the corresponding sides are in the same radio or proportion. And hence, the two triangles are similar. This is also called a okay, angle, a -A -A. angle, angle criteria. Okay. All right. Criterion. So the first test to determine whether our triangles are um, similar is to look at all the angles. All right. So that, it, that is why it is called AAA or angle, angle, angle test because we will first compare their angles, all right? So if they are proportional, then therefore they can be said to be similar triangles, all right? So just like in this case, in, in this example, using the angle, angle, angle test. So we have there this one, angle A and angle D, all right? And we have also this angle B and angle E. And then the third test, we have also the, this angle C and of course this angle F. So, when they are equal, then these two triangles are proportional with each other. All right? So, take note, you have there, the first test is angle, angle, angle test. All right? So, this is just a review. So, that means you can already... Uh, take notice of that one, all right? So therefore, if we set up their sides, then we can get also their proportions. All right, next is the SSS criteria, okay? So, um, Pawan, read first, what is that SSS criteria? Pawan? Okay. Uh if, if in, in two, two triangles, triangles, size of one triangle are proportional, proportional to the size of the other triangle, then the corresponding angles are equal uh, and the two triangles are similar. This is also called as it is situation. All right. So side 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 criterion so that that means if we consider the angle then that is a a a now this time we consider the sides of a triangle now if the sides are proportional to each other then it can be said that they are similar triangle side 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 test or criteria all right so to prove that a triangle could be similar, then we look at the corresponding sides. Here, corresponding sides AB, and we have also side DE. All right. So if they are proportional, then they can be said to be similar triangle. Side AC also, if this is proportional to side DF, all right? 
And then we have also this side BC, which when we compare that one with side EF. So therefore, when the three sides are proportional to each other, then we can say that they are similar triangles, all right? So to set up the side, then we can prove that one in that ratio, all right? So these are the means to identify whether the sides are proportional. And from here, we can also find a missing side, all right? For example, we set up side AB over side DE, okay? And we can set up side AC and, of course, side DF, okay? So this is how we set up our sides, okay? So side BC, we can set up that one with side EF on the other, okay? So when we will be able to identify that they are proportional to each other, then that triangles are said to be similar, okay? So that is the second test, side-side test, all right? What about this side-angle side? Uh, please read Alex. Alex, side, angle, side, criteria. Alex? Yes, sir. Okay, so please read. If one angle... Uh, if an angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the side, including this angle, a proportional then the two tank show as similar as similar this is also called a side angle side criteria all right so we have now this criteria also so that we can say that our triangles are similar side angle side criteria all right so what is this side angle side all right so if we have okay try to figure it out side side all right okay and we have angle angle and we have also side and side criteria so that means now if we can prove that one side is proportional to the other side and the angle is also equal to this angle plus the side and also this side are proportional, then we can say that they are similar triangles, all right? So that means we prove that this side is proportional to this side. And of course, the angle is equal to this angle, side, angle, and then the side. If they are proportional, then we can set up that this is similar or these are similar triangles, all right? So out of here, we can also find the missing side if there are missing sides of that given, all right? So that is the third criteria in proving that two triangles are similar, okay? So I guess we can uh, have a test, mastery test on similar triangles. Okay, so please get a piece of paper. This is just proving or this is just finding the length of one side 
given the sides of the triangle. Take note, we can set up the ratio. For example, here, AB over DE, all right? Or we can have to find, for example, here, we have also AC over DF so that we can find the missing sides of a triangle, all right? So please get a piece of paper now, and of course your pen. All right, again, please get a piece of paper. We will have a mastery test all about similar triangles. Ata, do you have no paper with you? Ton, Pawan? Yes. All right, Pang, Dean. Alex, okay, so have your paper ready now. P. Yes. And Kaymook. Can I use notebook? Yes, it's okay. As long as you can take a photo of that. Okay, so we will start the test now. And each number you will have three to five minutes to answer, okay? you need to analyze some question. All right. Okay. So we will start now. For the mastery test. All right. Question number one. This is three items only, but you need to solve. All right, so question number one. Find the value of X. Take note, these are, okay, that, uh, there are two triangles on that one. Find the value of X. Set up a proportion Okay, so that you can find the value of x. All right, so those are, okay, the image is having two triangles. All you need to find out is the length of side BC or this x. All right, so you have three minutes to solve that one. Find the value of x. Take note, set up the correct proportion. Okay, I will have a timer so that when the timer ends, then we go to the next number. Again, set up the correct proportion so that you can find the value of x. All right. Two minutes and 30 seconds to answer. You will uh, hear an alarm once the time is up. Two minutes.
you have one minute to answer one minute Can set up the correct proportion so that you can get the correct answer. Okay, time's up. Then we go to number two. Okay, number two. Find the value of x. Analyze the triangle properly and find the value of x. Set up the correct proportion. Okay, set up the correct ratio. Okay. So find X, take note, set up the correct proportion. You have here the 90 degrees and the other triangle you have here the 90 degrees. All right, so try to analyze which side is proportional to the other side and find the value of X, all right? So you have another three minutes to solve that one. Again, should have correct proportion. Uh, teacher, uh, yes. what t is the t is the meaning s t. Come again. S t or p s c is in sentiment. P s or s t. P s. Okay, this sure. one. Yeah, t c m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is three c m. T s. Yes, d s is three c m. Okay, so do not confuse yourself. Try to set up the correct proportion so that you can get correct answer also. Okay. You have two minutes. You have two minutes to answer.
All right. 40 seconds to solve. 40 seconds to solve. Right, 40, uh, 10 seconds. You have now 10 seconds to solve. All right, time's up. Question number three. All right, question number three. All right, so this is question number three. Find the value of X and Y. Okay, so analyze the triangles carefully. You have five minutes to answer that one. There are two missing uh, side there. Identify the value of the two sides, X and Y. All right. You have five minutes to solve. Uh, this uh, and in this uh, number three. Yes, this that is number three. Uh, okay, so I did. Sorry, I did not uh, put the number. So again, that is number three, last number. But there are two missing there. Find the value of x and y. Set up the correct proportion. All right. Set up the correct proportion so that you can get the correct answer. Okay. You have four minutes and 10 seconds to solve. All you do is to set up the correct side, corresponding sides, so that you can get the correct proportion. Right. Find the value of one missing first, and then you can use the value of that so that you can get the second missing side, x and y. One minute and 45 seconds remaining. One minute and 45 seconds to answer that question.
All right. 25 seconds. 25 seconds to answer. Ten seconds. All right. So time's up. Time's up. Everyone finish. Do we need to review from number one? All right. Everybody finish. You can click the thumbs up button or you can unmute if you are not finished. Ton, are you done? Pang, Prao. Hey, everyone, are you done? Yes. Yes, all right. So that is number two and that is number three. All right, so when you are done, so that will be for this morning. Now, all you do with that is to take a photo and upload in the line group, okay? Again, take a photo of that and then upload to the line group, all right? Or you can send it directly to me if you like. Okay, so are there any questions now? If none, then that will be all for today. And good luck to your test on next week. Right. So thank you so much, everyone, and see you when we see each other. All right. So thank you. Bye bye for now. Thank you, teacher. All right. You're welcome.